hundred on my wrist. Look on eighty on my wrist. D Rose. D Rose. Hey. 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 Eighty on my wrist. What? Hundred on my wrist. Eighty on my wrist. Hundred on my wrist. Eighty on my wrist. Hundred on my wrist. Eighty on my wrist. D Rose. 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 Awaken your sons and daughters. Supernatural revival. What's up, everybody? Daisy Blaze here, and. Today is going to be a really fun day. Today is going to be a really fun day. You want to know why? Because we're going on an... Oh my gosh, I got too excited. I can't even talk. We are going on an adventure. Okay, we are going on an adventure today. And it's going to be fun. It's going to be amazing. And it's going to be unlike anything you've ever seen before on this app. So you better keep watching. You better stay tuned. Or else you're going to miss out. Um, And you don't want to be that guy that misses out. Like, no one wants to be that guy. So I am vlogging today with my phone because i don't have a vlogging camera yet and it's honestly a hassle to try and vlog with my camera because it's so darn big um and the vlogs just never come out that good because it's just too much to like maneuver it so until i get a vlogging camera i'm gonna be vlogging with my phone luckily i have really amazing quality i have a really nice phone and the camera uh is really good so it still works out we're going to be going to atlanta so i live in atlanta if you guys don't know i live in the a and atlanta is a very interesting place it's a very interesting place but it's also a very fun place there's lots of fun things to do out there and today me and one of my good good friends chels we're going to be going to atlanta it's her birthday today if you are considering moving to atlanta if you are considering a reminder bring camera Thank you, Alexa. Turn the reminder off, please. Thank you. This is really gonna be like a very informative vlog. You guys are gonna get a whole bunch of stuff in one. Okay, because I'm gonna go to school. I go to Georgia State. So if you are a student that's considering going there, you're gonna get to see a little bit of that. And then we're gonna just explore the city and just kind of see what happens. Like when I say Atlanta is a very like interesting place, it's gonna be a very eventful day. I I'm ready to start my day. I'm ready to go. So let's go. Alright guys, so I'm currently on Georgia State campus. I made it. Um I went and got my coffee, relaxed a little bit, and now I'm gonna get ready because I'm still like, I'm dressed, but I, my face isn't done. So I'm gonna get ready and then I'm gonna take you guys and we're just gonna go on about the rest of our day. We have so much to do today, guys. We're at Georgia State right now. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the campus. It's a beautiful campus. I love the school. I love the vibes here. I love the scene. It's very much my scene. And so I really like being out here. Um, and then after that, we're just going to explore the city. I'm going to meet up with my friend a little bit later today, Chels. I think you guys will really like her. Okay, I think you guys will really like her. I don't have makeup on right now. I'm going to put on some makeup, probably do my hair a little bit differently. And then you guys can let me know what you think. Um, but I don't want to do it on camera because I don't really like doing my makeup on camera because I feel like I don't really do it that well because I'm like looking at the camera and not looking at the mirror. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> wasn't that fast? Oh my gosh, and I did it with one hand. Can you believe it? So um, I am going to go to class. And then after that, um, we have the rest of the day to have a really, really good time. We'll go to the High Museum, probably. Probably go to Pont City Market. Probably walk around downtown. Say hi to the people who are on the streets because there are a lot of people on the streets, let me tell you. And uh, yeah, so... Let's get out of here. I'm done with class and um, I'm waiting for my friend to come pick me up. We're gonna go to the museum, but I just figured I'd kind of like show you guys around campus a little bit. Um, one thing about Georgia State campus is it's very urban. I really like it. Um, if you like the hustle and the bustle um, of urban living, then you would definitely like it out here. Like the biggest pro I would say is you never run out of stuff to do. The biggest con would probably be like, it's not, it, it can kind of get overwhelming like i thought i was a city girl until i came to the city and i just might not it might just be that i'm not a city girl 
Okay guys, so we are at the High Museum of Atlanta. Say hi to my friend Chels. Hi. It's her birthday today. So today is a very special day. I haven't been to the High Museum in like years. I think the last time I went, I was in middle school. So it's gonna be like I'm going for the first time and I'm really excited. It's literally so nice. Right here we have Abraham sacrificing his son, Isaac. But the angel has come to stop it saying, no, don't you ever lay a hand on that boy. Very, very, very theatric and here we have noah okay after the flood thanking god for not drowning him and his family cool okay, so far i've seen a lot of like messed up art um one painting was of a rape okay they got a lot of slave girls in here but i think it's also because of the section that we're in um, so we'll probably see some different stuff as we move along, but yeah, so far some of these, some of this art is really sad. There's like a lot of stuff from World War One. Oh, look at this one right here. I don't even know what that says. The Little Laughing Woman. <laughs> I don't know, it looks like a freaking guy who's insane to me. What video on winding down and I just thought like you know it's a really good opportunity for us to reflect and just talk about a lot of things because as you guys know I'm very involved in church I'm a Christian and my friend Chelsea here is the same way as young Christians um, are almost like myths they the world thinks that we don't exist the world thinks that you can't be cool and be a Christian the world thinks that being a Christian is a death sentence almost and it's not we have more life now than we ever have had and i really think this is a really good opportunity for us to talk about like our experience with the world um, our experience with christ and what that looks like for us so i have a couple questions i go question number one yeah question number one what made you decide to live for god so what made me decide to live for god was like honestly my life was extremely empty i got to a point where I grew up in a really strict household and I thought like I was missing out on the world, right? And so I did the whole prodigal son thing and I left and I went to go explore the world to see what I was missing out on and I wasn't missing out on anything. I wasn't missing out on anything. That's I nice. came to the end of myself, yeah, and I was empty. Everything that I thought would fulfill me, everything that the world said would fulfill me, never could. And so I went back to the only thing that I knew, which was Jesus. And I am content right now, you know, that is what has given me the most life, the most fulfillment, the most purpose. Like I have purpose to my life again, you know, there's a reason for me to be alive. So that's my answer. Amen. Yeah. For me, I just kind of got to a point where it was just like, I was battling between the two of like trying to figure out life on my own. And I hit a point where it was just like, it was like a dead end. Like, I hit a dead end where it was just, like, you know when you look at, like, you get to, like, a dead end, and it's, like, either you go right or you go left. You can't go straight. I hit one of those points. It was, like, are you going to choose God or are you going to choose the world? And I kind of got to a point where I was just, like, God, I choose you. I'm tired of, like, living in my flesh. I'm tired of just, like, trying to live and make decisions on my own. And a lot of the decisions I made that were on my own, they led me to, like, really dark spots in my life and so that would be my answer to that how was the transition from the world to the kingdom and what was that process for you this is still like a process i'm going through now like it's still something that i'm like every day learning to like going from the world to the kingdom it's like something that it's like 
it's an everyday thing of like having to die to my flesh mm, because facts. I feel like every day I'm like tempted to do something or like my mind just because I'm human and I'm flesh like I have worldly desires so it's like because of that it's like every day I have to die to my flesh and be like okay this is what we're not gonna do and I feel like the process for me was just like cutting out certain type of music and certain type of like tv that i would watch and even the people that i surrounded myself with it was a process of like cutting all those things out so that would be my answer. yeah that's good i'm gonna piggyback off what chel said and say like it is an ongoing process i honestly feel like it's a process that we are on for the rest of our lives um you know because we're constantly being perfected constantly being sanctified constantly being consecrated right yeah so you know one thing that for me the process was learning not to feel bad about myself not even mm. learning not to feel bad for not being perfect right um in such a short time yeah because one thing that god has been telling me is this is a lifelong process you're going to be doing this for the rest of your life you know and so i'm not going to be like perfect and i'm not going to be like achieved the highest yeah. level of being christian in two years you know the process for me is a lot about learning how to continue to get up like a righteous man falls down he gets up again and um not beating myself up so much about the mistakes that are inevitable inevitable we're all gonna do that and god is a, a loving father right he's not a tyrant and he often doesn't punish us for our mistakes i've done many things wrong and god has merciful not to always give us consequences you know not to say that he doesn't give us consequences because there are consequences for our actions but it's just a process of knowing that this is an ongoing thing and that yeah. it's not going to look the same for everyone and that god doesn't expect perfection out of us jesus christ already filled in the gap um so that's my answer i like that that yeah. was really good christian stereotypes and stigmas that you want to break oh this is a good one because <laughs> People seem to think, like, this is the thing. And I think this is changing currently. Like, I really know, I think that God is doing a revival in the church, especially in the young church. Church is kind of like, I don't want to say moving into, like, a different era, but the church is, I think, showing the world, like, God is showing the world, especially through the young church. Um, he's changing the way people view Christianity. He's changing the way young people view Christianity because you have an uprising right now of young people who are on fire for Christ and they look like me and they look like Chelsea. They don't look like, you know, SpongeBob SquarePants or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know but that's how people think christians are and that's not the case like christians can have fun i have more fun now than i ever had when i was smoking weed and drinking all the time you don't want to know why because it's full it's a fullness of joy the fun that i had back then was empty it was temporary joy i couldn't it wasn't sustainable i have way more fun now that i'm living life for christ than i yeah. ever had before i freaking do stuff like go hiking i would have never done that like before you know i yes we literally just came from the museum like hello before what was my idea of fun you smoke weed watch a really funny movie and, and get fat like that's not fun <laughs> But that's that's the world and that's the deception that's yeah. in the world. And it's like, man, I, I have so many great memories. I've met so many wonderful people. And I think, you know, Christianity, living life for God, it's a joy filled walk. And I think one of the biggest stigmas that people have is that it's boring or that it's not fun or that it's dreadful. And that's the lie of the enemy. That's a, that's deception, because I have a lot more fun now than I ever had before. I've met so many cool people. I'm more myself. And so yeah christianity is fun it's not boring that's the biggest stigma for me i would say for me it's like in my opinion i think people of the world and it doesn't even have to just be people of the world it could just be like even people in christianity people have this like stereotype that because you're christian that means that you're perfect mm. and it means that like if you say a curse word or you smoke weed or you do anything it's like but you're a christian why do you do that you're a christian you should be like this and it's like to that stereotype it's just like i'm not perfect and i don't claim to be perfect i don't want to be perfect like do i show up every day in a way where it's like i want to be better than the person i was yesterday yes. when i set that intention it's like 
it hits differently than when I'm just like, oh, because I'm a Christian, that means I'm perfect. Because I'm Christian, that means I make no mistakes. Because I'm Christian, that means I don't sin. Because I'm Christian, that means I don't like, I don't fail, I don't fall. When in, in reality, we struggle just as much as any other person on this world does. And I feel like it's glamorized in the Christian society where people are just like, they try to, because they have a platform or they are like, oh yeah, I'm Christian, I'm this, I'm that. That means that they're perfect. And they uphold themselves to the standard yeah. where it's like, you're not perfect though. You make mistakes. There's people who battle with pornography. There's people who battle with homosexuality. There's people who battle with sobriety. Every single one of us battle with something. Like, and it's okay to struggle. Like, it's okay to not be perfect. Right. But when you put this stigma like, oh yeah, I'm Christian, so I have to be perfect. It's like, who gets the glory in that? Mm, Is that your so glory? Is that God's true. glory? Because when you think that you're perfect and that you, yeah. like, you don't have anything to work on, that's your glory. That's not God's glory. Yeah. And the one thing I want to say to that is, like, it's so dangerous because that's how you see, like, huge leaders fall. Yeah. You know, these these leaders in Christ have these horrible, like, scandals or things happen. And they, and they have these horrible, great falls because of that false sense of perfection, right? Yeah. They've made themselves out to be this this perfect being. And so then when they make a mistake, it's catastrophic. Um, but anyway, yeah. Next you want question. to read the last question? Yeah. How are you feeling today? <laughs> her, it's her birthday. <laughs> so how are you feeling today? How am I feeling today? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Why did you take away the mic? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I have different emotions on just like how I feel today. Cause like I feel uplifted i feel loved i feel appreciated yes, yes. but like there's also this part of me that's just like it doesn't feel like it's my birthday it just kind of feels like it's another day but i will say that there are some emotions where like even when i was talking to you when we were like at the at the restaurant i was starting to feel emotional when i was mm. telling you like to even see this day yeah it's just like it's just it just hits different because growing up i never pictured myself to be at 24 i didn't even picture myself to hit 22 and so to be at 24 it's just like thank you god because i used to i used to pray that god would take me out of this life i'd be like god like i don't want to be here anymore anymore like god can you take me off this earth like i have no purpose on here and to be 24 now and to just live into a new age into a new like life journey today feels like it's kind of like my first birthday because mm. this is like this is the first year that i like i'm really walking in christ right because i've walked with christ and like i've stumbled and i've fallen but like this year it just hits different yeah. like, it just feels it's like it's my real. first birthday mm -hmm. like everything around it's me is just year. so surreal yeah. and like like getting to a point where like i really thoroughly trust god and like I don't want to say every area because I still lack some, but in many areas of my life now than before, mm. it just hits different. Yeah, I'm like, so true. Wow. A thousand percent. So I, it's a bit emotional. I feel loved. I feel blessed. I feel just like overall, I feel joyful. And I feel like I, w I wouldn't say happiness because happiness is just something that's so temporary. Yes. I have joy. joy like, I don't joy. have happiness. Like happiness comes in its waves, but like, joy is like sustainable. that's sustainable mm. so my joy is sustainable so that would be how i feel today i love that answer. how do you feel today i think today was just a really good day you know it was i, I feel honored because i got to bring in her birthday with her and it's a very special day um birthdays are always always special and i just really feel like today was today went exactly how it was supposed to yeah. go yeah i feel like today went exactly how it was supposed to go and i'm just content same and the museum was nice too so like to just nice, be in the dude. atmosphere yeah it was something that it was like i haven't experienced that in a long time and i love history i love art so it was you know we're very like artsy creative people so like obviously i appreciate it i read all the descriptions and it was just really nice and really cool yeah um but that wraps up today's vlog i hope you guys have a wonderful day make sure that you subscribe and turn on my post notifications so that you can be notified of every single video <laughs> and you won't miss a thing all right you guys have a wonderful night be blessed i love you all goodbye
shirt on my wrist. Look on, hey, I'm a wrist. Heroes. Hero. Hey.